Let's take an in-depth look at the Cressy Power Test. This test is designed to look at the power output in all the major regions of the body necessary for baseball performance. Developed with Cressy Sports Performance, the test consists of a press in a row, PNF D2 flexion and extension, plyometric trunk rotation, and non-plyometric trunk rotation, lateral bounds, bilateral vertical jump, and full body rotational shot put. Upon completing the test, the Cressy Power Report is generated. The report is organized to display the difference between the athlete's ability to generate power versus their ability to generate acceleration. For each exercise, you can look at the difference between your power output and your acceleration output for each side of the body. The half domes under the power column indicate your power output for the left and right side of the body. You can also see the difference in your power output underneath. At the top of the report, you can also see your overall power and acceleration ranking. If your power levels are higher than your acceleration levels, then you should consider working on speed strength activities to improve your overall explosiveness. If your acceleration levels are higher than your power levels, it is indicated you should work on strength speed activities, working with heavier resistances to lighter resistances to improve your overall power output. Under the core section, you can look at the difference between your counter and non-counter movement power and acceleration output. Typically, a non-counter movement power output should be about 10 to 20% lower than a counter movement power output. If this is not the case, then plyometric exercise is indicated. This is the only system that can give you a difference between your plyometric and non-plyometric power output.